Hello, everyone. This is the lecture for section 4.1, the basics of differential equation. So uh, what we've sort of been doing at this point, right, we've just been picking up uh, uh, techniques for integration, right, different applications of integration. Um, we've gotten to a point where uh, we can use uh, our integration uh, for a much bigger much more wider topic in mathematics. This is actually a whole branch in mathematics uh, and you guys are gonna see the very basics of it, okay? Uh, so for this section, we're gonna be looking at differential equations, okay? And we're gonna be using both our derivatives and our integration uh, to sort of see what we can do with it, right? Um, differential equations happens a lot in the physical world and in the social science world. Um, uh, economists use it, uh, you know, engineers use it, biologists use it, it's everywhere, okay? And the idea behind the differential equation is um, there are enough, there, there are a bunch of situations, right, in the natural world, in the physical world, um, where we can observe something that's changing, right? Uh, we can observe that something is either increasing or increasing, uh, in, you know, the rate of it is increasing or decreasing, right? Uh, but we can't really make out, um, we can't really make out the uh, sort of like a, a model for it. Does that make sense? Uh, so that in itself is the idea behind the differential equation, okay? So let me go ahead and first define what a differential equation is and give you guys a couple of, um, um, give you guys a couple of examples for them. So a differential equation is an equation uh, involving, involving an unknown function uh, f of x and one or more of its derivatives, okay? And a solution to a differential equation is a function y equal f of x, right? That satisfies the differential equation uh, when f and all the combination of its derivatives are substituted in, okay? Um, so I've put down a couple pretty big ones here. Uh, this guy Gauss, um, you'll learn more about him in Calc three. Uh, he's uh, he's got a, a bunch of equations tied to his name, and a lot of them are differential equations, right? Um, these are just a couple of them. Okay, uh, Gauss is a lot for magnetism. Uh, you'll learn this a lot in Calc three. Um, Einstein's field equations, these are pretty darn uh, important, right? And then just two of them, these are actually Newton's equations, Newton's law of heating and cooling. These are differential equations themselves. Uh, these you'll see in a physics class when you do thermodynamics, okay? Um, all of these, right, um, they have uh, a function and some form of its derivative sort of mixed into the equation, right? So it's sort of like a study of, um, it's the study of change really, that's what we're doing here, right? Um, so these are a couple of equations, right? These are really, really complicated. The one that's the least complicated, and the one that we're probably gonna concentrate in your, um, uh, in your lecture questions are these, the heat equations, okay? So, let me def let me start defining some stuff about a differential equation, okay? Uh, the order of the differential equation. So let's say you have a differential equation. One of the ways that we classify a differential equation is by its order. And the way that we determine the order is the highest of any derivative of an unknown function that appears in the equation, okay? So, uh, the first thing, let's go ahead and move on to the very first example here. Find the order of the differential equation, right? And determine if both F functions satisfy the differential equation. So I give you two Fs here, two functions, right? Okay. And uh, first of all, find the order of the differential equation. Okay. And then uh, find, uh, determine if both of those Ys uh satisfy the differential equation, right? So as you can see, right? That is the second derivative. So this is what we call a second order differential equation. Okay. 
So this is what's called the second order differential equation since that's the highest power that we see in the differential equation. Okay, so now let's go ahead and see if these functions satisfy the differential equation, right? So in order to do that, right, I'm gonna go ahead and do this. I'm gonna call this y1 and this y2, right? So uh, for y1, right, uh, we have f of x is equal to e to the 2x, right? So notice that this is asking for a second derivative, right? So f prime of x, right, is gonna be 2e to the 2x, Okay, and f double prime of x is equal to 4e to the 2x, right? Chain rule, okay? So now if we take a look at that, right, uh, we're hoping that it satisfies this differential equation right here, right? So we get to plug it in. So uh, we have 4e to the 2x, right? Minus 4 times y, which is the original, e to the 2x x is equal to zero. And lo and behold, right, you guys can see this hopefully, e to the 2x minus 4e to the 2x is equal to zero. Zero is equal to zero. We're good. Okay. So then that means that this one, the very first one, satisfies the differential equation. Okay. Well, let's try the second one now. Yeah. So y2. So that means f of x is equal to e to the minus 2x, right? f prime of x minus 2e to the 2x, and f double prime of x is equal to oops, minus 2x. It's going to be 4, right? e to the minus 2x. Again, we're going to do the substitution, right? So this is going to be the double prime, 4e to the minus 2x, right? Minus y2, just the regular, right? Minus 4y, uh, so times e to the minus 2x is equal to 0. 4e to the minus 2x minus 4e to the minus 2x is equal to 0. And lo and behold, 0 is equal to 0. And we are done. So what we just did, what we just did is proved that these two uh, functions, uh, y1 and y2, satisfy the differential equation. Okay. So uh, let me show you guys something pretty cool. This is something that happens with differential equations, actually. It's the same differential equation, right? But look at what I'm doing. I'm adding both of the fractions from before. So if you guys can tell, this is a y1 and a y2, right? So the idea here is it turns out if you add solutions to the differential equation, that also becomes a solution to the differential. So this, the sum of solutions is the solution itself, something that you'll learn when you take differential equation. So I'm going to go ahead again, right? F prime of x is uh, 2e to the 2x minus 2e to the minus 2x. F double prime of x, right, is going to be 4e to the 2x plus 4e to the minus 2x. So I'm off to the races, right? So then the double prime, 4e to the 2x plus for e to the minus 2x, that's my uh, double prime, right? My second derivative, minus 4 times y, my original. e to the 2x plus e to the minus 2x, hopefully is equal to 0. And look, lo and behold, right? 4e 2x plus 4e to the minus 2x minus 4e to the 2x, minus 4e to the minus 2x is equal to 0. If you guys can notice, there's a positive 4e to the 2x, minus 4, positive 4e to the minus 2x. And then the negative there, 0, is equal to 0. So we're good. So this is something that happens in differential equations. The sum 
of solutions is also a solution. Okay. Like I said, it's something that you'll learn in differential equations once you get there. This is one of the cool things. I wanted to show you guys something like that. Okay. Um, so first thing that uh, I've got a couple quick checks. Okay. So these are certain differential equations. Right. Uh, I want you guys to determine if, well, they all do solve it. I want you guys to show it. Okay. Show that these differential equations uh, are, uh, sorry, so show that these functions are solutions to the differential equation. Okay. All right. So now, moving on, uh, I want to go ahead and talk about a general solution, a particular solution, and what's called an initial value problem. Okay. Um, it's a particular thing that happens in differential equations, and it just comes out of uh, the it comes out of the fact that remember how I showed you guys that uh, an integral is not an entirely complete inverse, right? Of differentiation, that's the issue. That is the issue, right? That uh, because we have integration, right, and it differs by a constant, it's not an entire um, it's not an entirely good inverse process, right? Um, that in itself is uh, what produces what's called general solutions. And in order to find particular solutions, right, uh, we need a little bit more information, okay? So let me show you guys what I'm talking about here, right? So I'm gonna go ahead and do this example right here. This is another differential equation, right? Okay, and here is a solution function, okay? So I'm gonna go ahead and start solving this out, right? So we know that y, right, is equal to my f of x, which is x cubed minus four x plus c. I need a first derivative, so my y prime is gonna be my f prime. So the first derivative of this would be three x squared minus four, right? And then my y double prime should be f double prime of x, which is the derivative of the derivative. So this is gonna be six X, okay? Now I want people to keep in mind, take a look at this, that C sort of disappeared. That constant could have been anything, right? But let's go, let's keep going. Uh, I'm gonna have to show that it satisfies the differential equation. So I'm gonna plug in all my goodies into this thing, right? So it's gonna be two times Y double prime, two times six X, right? Minus Y prime, 3x squared minus 4. And let me put parentheses around this the right way. Plus 3y, my original. Uh, x cubed minus 4x plus c, right? Is equal to 3x squared uh, times x minus 1 plus 4. Okay, let's go off to the races, right? So uh, right here we have 12x minus 3x squared plus 4 plus 3x cubed minus 4x, uh, whoops, minus 12x. Uh, plus 3c is equal to 3 x cubed, hopefully you guys see that, minus 3x uh, squared plus 4. Okay, so on this side, right, we see there's a, uh, where is it? There it is, a minus 12x plus 12x, right? So you guys see something, it goes minus 3x squared plus 4 plus 3x cubed plus three C, right, is equal to three uh, X cubed minus three X squared plus four, right? And let's go ahead and uh, rearrange this a little bit, right? We're gonna have um, three X cubed, right? Uh, minus three X squared plus four plus three C, three X cubed, minus three X squared plus four. 
right? So if we can, if, if you take a look at this, right, then that means you, if you take a look at sort of the right-hand side, right, equally the left-hand side, right, we're good, right? With the exception of this 3C, right? This tells me, right, this is like sort of extra stuff. This means that, that my C has to equal zero. So then this should be equal to zero, right? But besides that, the function that I gave originally, this one right here, it satisfies my differential equation, okay? Crazy stuff, right? So now, uh, let me get into a little bit more theory. So. Notice that my differential equation up front, right, uh, up above, right, it differed by a value C, right? And that value C could have been anything. So all of these could have been a very good solution to my function. Everything else would have worked out perfectly fine, right? All of these would have been solutions, okay? Um, so how do we choose a particular how do we choose a particular uh, a particular solution, right? So if you guys take a look, all of these uh, all of these graphs that are on the what is this the right hand side of the screen, right? Notice that they're all um, they're all parallel to each other, right? All of these are solutions, right? But let's say we wanted to pick out one in particular. Let's say, right, that we wanted to pick out the very top one, right? Or the purple one in this case, right? How do we do that, right? Uh, that is the difference between finding a general solution and a particular solution, okay? So let me go down to the definitions that are here, okay? Uh, too far, okay, there we go. A general solution, right? to a differential equation is a family of functions, okay? It is a family of functions that are solutions to our differential equation. So in our case, right, in the case of the example that I just did above, right, uh, a family of functions, right, x cubed uh, minus four x plus c, all of these, are a family of solutions. These are general solutions. This right here is general solutions to my function, right? Okay. A particular solution, a particular solution to a differential equation is a specific F star that lives in that family of functions. That is a solution. Does that make sense? So uh, for example, right? Uh, x cubed minus 4x plus 1, right, inside, whoops, 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 inside my script f, right, that is one function that satisfies my differential equation out of the entire family, okay? That is a particular a solution, one particular function, a specific one, right? And in order to find particular solutions, right, um, what we have to do is what we um, is what we call an initial value problem. Basically, we need to find uh, we need to sort of uh, have like sort of an initial value or a specified point, right, in order for us to get a particular solution, right? So. Uh, find the particular solution to the following initial value problem. We know what the solution is. Our solution, right, our general uh, solutions are this, right, x cubed minus 4x plus c. These are our general solutions, right? In order to get a particular one, we are going to need an initial point, this one right here, okay? So we're off to the races, right? Uh, According to this, the thing in yellow, right? Uh, F of negative one, negative one cubed minus four times negative one plus C has to equal one. So we get to solve this out. Negative one 
uh, plus four plus C is equal to one. So if you solve this out, C, uh, let's add one more step, yeah? Uh, three plus C is equal to one, minus three, minus three, C is equal to negative two. So F of X equal X cubed minus four X minus two. This right here is our particular solution that goes through that point. So we picked out a particular function, right? That goes through a specific point. And we did that by solving the initial value problem, okay? Okay, so uh, I'm gonna have you guys floating around through the same problems that you were doing before, okay? Um, but this time I'm giving you a, uh, an initial value, right? So you know what the solution is, right? Um, try to find the particular, try to find the particular solution that goes through these, okay? There's one, two, three, four, and I believe that is it. What comes up next is lecture questions. These are very small sections. These are heavy hitting sections. Uh, the calculus, the integration for them uh, tends to be a little easier, okay? Um, but we're gonna be working a lot with these, okay, for the next couple sections. Uh, besides that, I am done. If there are any questions, uh, drop me a line, come see me at my office hours, or come see me on my Friday's hours, okay? Uh, besides that, I, like I said, I'm done. Happy studying.